Hey guys, this is part three in the three-part series of Mexico City. Today we'll be touring this um, mini uh, factory. This is Omar. He is the brains behind the operation. Um, he makes things that they wouldn't have access to or is uh, too expensive for the reefing community in Mexico. This is uh, one of the examples of the items that they make. They make this uh, algae reactor. Um, everything from the acrylic to the lighting element. This is the inside of the algae reactor. They also make uh, um, like algae scrubbers. Um, this is a good example of a nano scrubber that they made for smaller aquariums um, that doesn't have such a big footprint. This is the bigger uh, algae scrubber that they make with two screens and two lighting elements. They make everything here um, from filter sock holders to 3D printed objects. Um, some of these 3D print out objects you could use to grow corals on. They also make um, random flow generators that you could connect to your return, um, return lines. They were so welcoming. They invited me in to see their uh, manufacturing process. You could see they're making random flow generators. They also make um, different parts and different uh, fittings so that uh, standard plumbing could fit into um, like European uh, products. For example, this is a skimmer adapter. This is the laser machine that they use to cut small acrylic parts. They draw it out on a CAD program and uh, they send that image to the laser machine and the laser machine cuts it out. Um, and then they can use these parts in their uh, different products that they make. This is the CNC machine that they use. Um, they use this machine for bigger parts and for parts that they can't use the laser machine. Um, for example, if they need to make a groove into the acrylic or make like a step for a lid or something like that, they use the CNC machine. This is a good example of a product that was made with the CNC machine. The bottoms on these algae reactors were um, made with the CNC machine. There was a groove and then they put this acrylic tube on top of it. Um, over here you see a couple of different algae reactors um, in different stages of uh, manufacturing. This is where they build their algae scrubbers. Over here he's showing me um, the acrylic that the laser machine uh, cut out. Um, they make everything from the LED elements they, that they solder together uh, to the boxes uh, themselves. Here he's showing me uh, dosing containers that he made. Um, these dosing containers could be used for anything, uh, for example, two-part. Um, he has a built-in magnetic uh, stir so that things don't settle on the bottom. Um, he also has 
a built-in uh, tube connector so that you can easily connect uh, your dosing pump to it. This concludes part three in the three-part series of Mexico City. Uh, big thanks to um, Claudio for organizing all this and the big thanks to Omar for showing me around the shop. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.